This is Ultimate Pools. The owner of our first outrageous pool designed it with two things in mind, kids and parties. The pool is really the center of the social environment in our backyard. It's an entertainment feature of this house. We have school functions over here, charity events, and it's really for the children. Such a big audience required plenty of different show-stopping features. We have everything from a grotto that the kids can go inside, they can jump off, we have a slide behind it they can really enjoy. We have the lazy river, they can also go in a large jacuzzi. We made the jacuzzi so the entire birthday party can get inside and enjoy themselves. And then we have a, a bottom pool, which the slide goes into. The house and pool were built simultaneously, ensuring a seamless and consistent design plan. And pool designer Paul Cunningham made sure to address the needs of everyone in the family. The whole pool and landscape concept for the area around the pool is really an adult and a kid's wonderland. The advantage we had is we had a great CAD drawing of the pool. So we had a very good idea of how to visualize the pool. We really wanted to set the pool from the house. So as you looked out the house, you looked out, you know, the center of the pool and out the invisible edge. We hadn't really seen one on a pool, but we thought it'd be cool to have a, a lazy river around a fire pit because you get people that don't want to go in the pool can sit around the lazy river and those that are in the pool can go around them. And you can actually kind of have a social environment with the lazy river around a fire pit. Though impressive by day, the fire pit is just one of the bright features making this pool shine at night. We want to make sure it was lit so it created an experience. And so not only is the pool amply lit, but also we had professional lighting done around the pool just to give it that effect that it was an entertainment venue. The fire pit in the middle of the Lazy River has been one of the, the best features of the pool because the family's been able to sit around it like a round table in the kitchen. And we've done everything from roast marshmallows to talked about our days. So it's a really neat place to gather, tell stories, and really enjoy family time. Great way to wind down the day. In our next outrageously fun backyard, what started out as a simple upgrade to an existing pool morphed into a swim sanctuary worthy of any world-class resort. We decided to change the pool. We wanted to just add on, add some waterfall elements and that type of thing to the existing pool. Jennifer and Hans also made sure that this backyard renovation included a very sentimental family project. My dad decided he was going to build a treehouse for the kids in our backyard, and it was pretty neat that my oldest son, Zachary, took a liking to want to help his papa build a treehouse. So every morning for about two, maybe three weeks, they'd get up early and, and build this treehouse. They brought in pool designer Joe DiPaolo to get extra creative in building this over-the-top pool. And most importantly, making Papa's Treehouse part of the magic. My idea was to incorporate the pool and the landings to get to the treehouse and provide the treehouse, which was in a lofty position, a porch or a, a lookout. Now the kids can access both the treehouse and their favorite splash spots in the pool, including a raised hot tub. It's super fun because it's elevated above the pool. They can look down into the pool and they have an excellent view in, in every direction. I like having parties with like all my friends. It's a lot of fun. Everybody seems to enjoy their time here. Let's get the ball! Beyond the treehouse, this pool has outrageous covered from end to end. There are waterfalls and stone bridges, a huge cave with a couch, television, and stained glass window, and a grotto that gives sliders the perfect exit. Our next pool began as an ordinary swimming hall situated in a very tight spot. I have a really small backyard, but once you lay out the space, you can get pretty creative with size and shape. Dan knows creative pool making. He's a professional pool designer. 
So when a client took a disapproving look at his old pool, he realized he had to up his game. Someone comes and basically insults what he has at home. And the next day, he drained it and was redoing it. Dan scrapped his nondescript pool and started from scratch, utilizing every inch of space to create an outrageous island-themed paradise. Our pool is a tropical playground, features multiple waterfalls, bridges, slides, two spas, and a 75-foot swim lane. And no tropical island theme is complete without a jaw-dropping bonus feature. My favorite part of the pool is the boat. Tucked away beyond the palms is a full-size boat that has been completely reimagined. I was looking for a, a unique pool house. Well, let's, let's do a boat, get a big power boat, make it look like it ran around, but it was 45 feet long. I only had 30 feet to work with. I went down to the boatyard and saw it, and it was a disaster. <laughs> and they're cutting off the back of it. <laughs> I was thinking, there's no way this is going to work. Got some sawzaws and a bunch of blades. And we're able to cut 15 feet off it, make it down to 30 feet. Getting everything in the backyard was very tricky. I thought it was a little crazy. I still think it's a little crazy. The converted 19th century sailing catch features two bunks, a bar, and plenty of space to hang out. Well, here you're inside of our pool house, which is a converted 1800s, early 1900s sailing catch, sailed all over the world. Everything in here was constructed from the wood that came with the boat. So the idea of the boat was to make it look like it was a shipwreck. We wanted this to look run down a little bit, kind of like you were stuck on this boat. This was going to be your world for however long till somebody found you, and hopefully they never do. Our next homeowner didn't really want a pool at all, but his family did. So he decided to build the most outrageous pool in the neighborhood. I thought building a pool would be a good way to connect to my kids. And I think that was the vision that really caused me to switch from being someone who didn't really enjoy swimming to seeing his family time instead. Kevin decided to go all out and create a backyard showpiece with as many family fun features as possible. I admit, I just thought if I was going to build a pool, I'd try to put as much into a pool as you can. Swimmers maneuver around the spectacular centerpiece, a hot tub sitting smack in the middle of the pool. And Kevin and Reagan had specific requests when it came to the eye-catching style of the pool. We wanted sharp lines, and we wanted it to be crisp. That's our style of decorating, and so we wanted it to flow with the rest of the house, and we think we would accomplish that with some of the less soft edges that you see in the pool and the zero edge with the water flowing so you don't actually have a, a gutter around the pool. While the center spa provides tranquility for the adults, the kids have their own fun way of letting off steam. <laughs> I think that the kids' favorite feature has to be the slide, of course. They love climbing up the slide, going down the slide. The 90-foot tube slide is straight out of a theme park, operating with a gush of water controlled by a button hidden inside the hot tub. I can sit in the hot tub and covertly hit the button, and I hear them in the tube screaming. Next thing you know, they're all swept up in a current of water, and they all come flushing out. With the hot tub floating in the center of the pool, the current from the slide creates an outrageous bonus feature. When we turn the slide on, it creates a lazy river in the water effect. And that was one of the things I wanted initially, and it wasn't practical. But now I have it with the slide current. It'll swirl around the spa that's in the middle of the pool, and I actually have been able to achieve that lazy river effect. Believe it or not, this incredible water wonderland isn't part of a huge resort or theme park. It's actually a backyard. And it could be your backyard, because this huge water world is for sale. This sprawling Nevada property proves that size does matter, especially for those wanting something typically provided only by Mother Nature. What do you do when you don't live close to a river? You build your own.
the owners actually wanted to build something unique. They wanted to have a conversation piece. So he bought the parcel next door and built the Lazy River. This massive crystal clear waterway stretches nearly a quarter mile behind the 10,000 square foot Spanish style mansion. 